is mortar. Mortar is the glue that we put between the bricks in order to stick them together. So it's a masonry material. It's got cement in it. Oftentimes with standard masonry, there's also sand inside of it. However, here we don't put any sand inside of our mortar because it makes it really hard to shape the building after we stack the bricks. We're stacking the building out of a bunch of square bricks and we're making a nice round shape. So after we stack our square bricks, we're gonna carve them a little bit. And if you put sand inside of your mortar, it's gonna be tough to carve. Um, we put foam inside of our mortar to make it lighter so it goes a little further. And then also mortar only goes, uh, so your building is only as strong as your weakest link, right? And so the mortar that we're going to make here has less foam than um, the aircrete. So it's much stronger than the aircrete because there's less foam in this mortar than there is in the aircrete. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that we don't need to make a standard mortar. It doesn't need to be incredibly hard. It just needs to be stronger than the aircrete and then it's good, right? Because the aircrete is the weakest link in the building. Um, okay, and so what is the formula? The formula is this. In a five gallon bucket, we take three quarts of water, and it can be dirty water as you can see. So one quart, two quarts, and three quarts. And then we put this Sika uh, latex or acrylic adhesive inside of it. And so what this does is it makes, it gives cement a plastic quality it makes it prevents cracking and makes it stickier um, and so that's the reason why we put this inside is to prevent the cracking and making it stickier it comes from Home Depot it's like $14 do you want me to hold it up like that is that what you're, why yeah. you're putting it in okay uh, it comes from Home Depot it's like $14 a gallon and in one five gallon bucket of mortar we use eight ounces of this latex and so our fancy cups have every two ounce marked so Okay, and then this is gonna be our liquids cup. So we kinda wanna keep this one safe. We don't wanna dip it into the cement. So I'm just gonna put it there. And then we need eight quarts of cement. Do you want a dust mask? Um, you know, yeah. 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 Okay, see I now heard from my friend that it's really good to protect yourself from the cement, so <laughs> I'm going the extra one. The <laughs> really important thing is that you wear long sleeves. Okay. Oh, really, really die. Okay. Oh. Good. Okay. Do you, do, you have a, do you have a pair of boots? It's going to be hot in there. Sure. Can I wear your pants? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can make it. It's okay, really, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> How about the underwear? Hopefully, he's got some of those already. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you sure you don't want the pants on the boots? Yeah, I'm sure. Pretty sure. Okay, so eight <laughs> quarts of cement. Eight quarts. Yep. Yeah. One. I love your safety, guys. Yeah. I love it. That's what? Oh, okay. What is what? What is cement? Like, what is it? What is, what, what is cement it is a whole bunch of different things. It's like lime mostly. There's clay and um, like magnesium and aluminum inside of it. Silica. It's like mostly lime though. And then it's heated up to like this immense uh, temperature and put through a machine that because it gets so hot, it changes its.
chemical composition. Mm -hmm. And then when it's added to or combined with water, basically, um, it uses the oxygen inside of water and solidifies. Mm. So I don't know exactly, but that's what I know. How, like, how, like, if you fill your water cups all the way up to the top, or if you don't fill them up all the way to the top, it might end up being a little bit too lumpy or a little bit too pasty. Like, this is this is like the perfect consistency right here. This is a, a really nice consistency so that when we make our, our mortar, it's not gonna be running. Because if you have running mortar, basically, you know, we're gonna be like sliding it up the walls, sliding it on the side of bricks. And if it's running, then it all just drips off and it kind of sucks. So um, that's what you're going for. and. If you follow the recipe and it doesn't look like that, then add more water or add more cement, depending on how the consistency is. For course, yeah. Okay, point that thing down. And it's freezing out here. How are you guys always short? quarters of a five gallon bucket mixture. Pull it out while it's running. Maybe that's not the best way to do it because you're gonna make a huge mess. But you should leave a huge hole like this inside of it. It should like it should be stiff enough to stand up by itself. You could also like take a trowel and stick it on the side. Just basically, if you put it on your hand like that, you don't want it to just like just completely run off. Like that came off in a clump. But you're going for something like this. The thing that's unfortunate is if you get to this point and your mortar is too runny. The only thing that you can do is turn it into like this really hard cement mortar. Just like add cement, add cement, add cement until it's the right consistency. And it kind of, it just kind of doesn't come out as air creep mortar at that point. It's just hard cement. And that's not the end of the world, but um, but you want to try to get it like spot on on your first, on your first shot. So good luck with that. Um, <laughs>